Oh, where is it? Vampire? I'm still gonna recommend it, is it? Shouldn't recommend it? I'm not actually seeing the hex thing in there, it is not, it doesn't. Because, uh, damn you, it's not, like, massively great. I mean, I guess actually hex is pretty good, but whatever. Um... Is that was 10 fighting 10 range? Is that about right? That's kind of what I usually start with, like, 10 of my weapon skill and, like, 10 or something else. I got a plus one sling. And that's got a bit of accuracy on it. Oh, is this one of these throwing rocks at me? I think it was. Alright, well, obviously the first level of the dungeon is going to be fine. Hopefully I don't get shafted and marked for this time around. That's always really mean when that happens. I mean, sometimes you can survive that, especially if it's, like, later on. But early on, getting shafted and marking does... A very difficult situation to ever get yourself out of. Ooh, reflection. I might just grab that and put it on. It's basically like 5 shield value. Um, technically I could use a shield at the moment because I've got a sling, but like, uh, I'll probably end up with, well, going through like, oop bows and stuff. If I am alive, right? So that means I get a little bit more regen, but I don't think it's a huge amount. Mm, interesting. I think the main advantage of being alive is that you don't have to be bloodless and have less magic points. Oh, there's a Ignis altar, a Chabriandos altar, or Logonu altar. Do I go with this? Do I want an early J? I I mean, I'm gonna give it a try. See what I get. Oh, Chabriandos. Alright. Sure, I'll take it. I mean, Che does get good. Um, especially on these archers. So, we'll see how this goes. The early game is kind of rough though because you don't have any of the god abilities going and uh, you still slow. But yeah, they definitely get good. Alright, let's go. I was trying not to run right up to creatures. I guess they should have just auto explored so it would stop as soon as they came in sight. Uh, so as I kill things that are faster than me, like this bat, so I should get. Well, I should slow down and get more decks and stuff. Um, I wonder whether I'll be able to wear anything heavier than a rope, though. So I will have some extra strands. Alright, you know what? I might just get the whole jinx fight going. Uh, see if that's at all worthwhile. I think there were some other spells there as well. Let me go check. Uh, the Sigil of Fighting, Inner Flame, Cause Fear. Inner Flame is such a dangerous spell to be using. Like, you could just blow yourself up with it, but like, I guess it's something. Okay, that was just a small shaft, just one level. But it does put me on dungeon level 3. Alright, what's the way up? Oh, I don't really have the stacks of stuff there. Did I see a way up? No, I didn't. I saw some palate mail. Guard the cloak, alright. Uh, I think that was a plus zero sling, but it looks but There we go. That's the way back up. But the worst thing is when you get charged down and then, like, a uh, UD comes along or something. It's like, uh oh, what do I do now? And no one running for that. Uh, definitely not with this character, anyway. Not with a chamber or or smush. But, but anyway, there were no uniques when I went downstairs. In fact, no uniques at the whole second level of the dungeon. Inky potions. I still don't really have any stacks of stuff to read. Alright, level 4. How's the Chamber Angels party going? I can try bedtime. I haven't had too much luck with the bedtime. Maybe I've just been using it wrong, but I don't know. It never seems to quite work out when I try and use it. Oh, it's a dagger of speed. I'm not even allowed to use one of those. It's against Chamber Angels' philosophy of slow and steady. Oh, um, no thanks. I don't think I find the scorpion. That looks uh, kind of scary because I don't have any poison resistance. I was like, oh, it's got to get scroll. I might have to come back for it. Um, I like this. I could maybe take it out, but it's just one of those ones where it's a little questionable. All right. They got a dagger electrocution, good old electrocution dagger. Those are pretty terrifying early on. Because sometimes they just kind of max throw you with damage and you're left pretty wounded. Oh, I'll step back once. I'm not fighting both of these at the same time. Alright, got four or something. Uh, I should start. I should think about reading those pretty soon. In fact, I think as soon as I go downstairs, I'm just gonna. Oh no. 
gonna read those. Um, I'm gonna drop one of these poison. Oh, then, yeah, of course, they're just gonna stand there. Um, yeah, these priests are really worried about this whole smiting thing. Okay, I think I got them. Well, there are more things. At least I was not a priest, so it can't smiley me like the rest of these guys. Hey, it's a good old temple. I don't think I need to be in the temple, but I'll take a look. It's just a regular old temple with a good selection of gods. All right, then. It's been a long time since I've seen one of the fancy temples. I mean, I know there was one. I don't know. It was definitely a long time back. Oh, so sorry. I should begin maybe one of the inner flames or something. Um... It has to be handy around now, but anyway, let's just try... Whoa. I just popped that scroll of poison, also... Yeah, that's probably fine. He can try and confuse me, which is what I'm worried about. Also, he's taking rid getting rid of my health. Um... Okay, I got rid of Segment, but now what? I guess I just tried to shoot these guys. I don't think he's going to think special, just the size, unfortunately, his robe wasn't a chance or anything. Because I'll definitely take it. Oh no, a robe. Uh, can I just jinx fight this dude? Huh? Come on, jinx fight. <laughs> you got the guy. Alright. <sighs> Gotta wait up that minus wolf but it should be fine. Yeah, jinx fight kind of adds a bit of extra damage. Oh, I can get the, I can get the end of flame. It works on guys with pole arms quite well if you can end of flame them, so I should probably have it on me. Alright, well, I'll go down, I'll kill this guy, and then I'll read one of these scrolls, see what I've got. Identify, of course, good, so I can start with a few of these potions. So I got some curing. Got some, oh, degeneration. Well, I don't need the degens, right, but I can, oh, I can do a scroll. Revelations, torment, I'll do some more potions. Magic, and mutation. I mean, that's a decent selection of stuff. Oh, there's all the light. I mean, I might as well, because I don't have a two-handed weapon yet, so... Oh. Uh... Um... Hmm. Alright. Well, I guess I'm in the fight with this ice piece. There's not much choice, but I guess it was alright. Yeah, no cards are sort of offer. I might do another potion. Might. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Yeah, that I mean... The problem with the uh, mind is that it doesn't work on range. In fact, there aren't a lot of buffs that do work with the range, which is interesting. Because, like, the spellcasting gets the brilliance portions. Okay. Hmm. I don't know about this, actually. Oh, uh, yep, that's about what I was expecting. Um... I don't know if I don't, I should have actually started the poison early, shouldn't have I? That might have worked. Oh no, what am I, what am I doing here? Because I can't walk through my own poison, that doesn't actually work right now. Um. Oh. Topping this guy would leave me pretty wounded, that would be a terrible idea. Uh oh, I don't, what do I even have on me? I mean, uh. Oh, uh, squash! Well, I'm gonna try jinx by this guy. This might actually finish. It's probably gonna finish me off. Try and bed some time around it. I'm probably still slower than that, right? How much is my move? It doesn't say what my move delay is there. I haven't been keeping track of my move delay. Yeah, I'm probably still slower than that. This is really unfortunate. Okay, well, the ogre died. Um, I guess I'm going to take out this one. This will be the next most dangerous one. This might actually be okay. 11 health. 10 health. Okay. Do I have a curing potion? Because those guys are already just chipping away at me. Let's go up. Right. That was not the right way to deal with that ogre. Definitely not. If I see another one, I might have to start with the whole um, poison scroll, because I think I've still got one more of those at least. Also, I can go um, up to dungeon level walls at dungeon level 4 and go grab that... Huh? Nope, dungeon level 3 and go find that scorpion. 
go take its good old scroll here. Um, what's this character with Grey's Youth? Because I probably, if I am, I probably don't need to fight him. Because I'm not going to need his, uh, cloak or whatever he had. Oh, I've got a bookshop. Any sort of books I want to, like, get into? the something in that one. It's Chaos again. Discord, Disjunction, Conjure Ball Lightning. I mean, Discord is just such a high level, but I might be able to get it eventually. I've got Last Magnet, Teleport, other Book of Movement. Oh, Jail's Gravage. Vice of Charge Blast Modes. I mean, maybe. Blast Mode's probably less useful for this character. Sometimes you can use it to, like, blast yourself back from a creature and then run away, so it's not gonna work if you're, like, slow. Alright, let's go down. What's up with this guy? Freezing. Alright. Can I have to go up very soon? Nah, I might have to do it now. I would have almost been able to bring up a couple of those gnolls, but I don't want to bring up too many gnolls at once. Alright, it's a good old ice beast. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can actually run away from these gnolls anymore. That's a bit of a problem. Um... Okay. If I cast the inner flame, can I target that on this guy? Now I just have to figure out how to set it off. I mean, I can do the torment. I'm gonna do the torment. I hope that's not a bad idea. Right, that actually left me quite wounded. But I did get rid of everything apart from this guy. Um, now I'm just gonna figure out how to get rid of the sleep cap. But I might just do one of these little curings and then just shoot it. Oh. I jinx fight it. Wait, I think I'd cast jinx fight technically on myself. And then I just hit things with it. Oh, okay. It's currently okay. There we go. Good old staff of cold, sure. Not gonna tell this character though. Got a sling of electric future. I mean, it's plus two instead of plus one, and it's electric future, so that's actually not too bad. Yeah, definitely doing. I can see the big chunks of damage when it gets its electric future off, and it's already killed something. Oh, I got another identifier. Me, uh, come on, electric cure the guy. There we go. So I can, uh, identify... I've got four of whatever these are. Teleport scrolls, nice. Those are pretty useful in Chamber Idols, because they're one of your few ways of escaping creatures. I don't get your, like, bedtime. Of course, I got a slouch showing up there. Um... I'm engaged as minus one. But I might just get a few... First few points, see if I can get a slouch or, like, it's really good for things like those, um, weapons and bees and... I don't know, what else could be a slouch? <sighs> Not really working. Okay. There we go. They kept the ogre at bay. I mean, it was actually died pretty quick once I put the boys out, but hey, I still wanted to hold it in place. Oh, you got a firing glee thing? That's going to be too tough. You got Pygal in here somewhere, obviously. Two headed ogre and a gargoyle. Well, those are all too tough for me. But I don't have to go in there yet. There's a transporter leading in. Oh, the death talisman. I don't think I can even use it as a vampire, can I? No, man, one of my few characters get a death talisman, but they can't even use it. That's kind of funny. What is this? Charm weapon? I've already got a slag. It doesn't look like a hat getter or something, sure, but like for a slag? I guess it's gonna have to wait. Got three of a scroll? Well, I guess I can find out what it is. Um, amnesia. Alright, well, I don't have any spells I really want to forget right now. Uh, magical power and potential for fire. I'm gonna try the potential for fire to see the wizardry, see if these spells are still doing. 30% fill in the inner flame. Alright. I maybe could get a little bit more hexes, I don't know. The inner flame's like mildly useful, but it's sometimes a bit hard to actually target anything with it without blowing yourself up. Oh, oh okay. Hmm. That did not work. Okay. At least the net hurt, so that should make that work out. But it's a shame because I lost my net just a regular yak, which seems not great. Oh, is this guy Curari? Because I do need some of those. Alright, let's heal up. I could, uh, I could go bloodless, but the problem is it's only like such a long period to recover from the bloodless. Because you gotta work back to make sales, so yeah, I did go bloodless, I just killed the guy, and I worked. Uh-oh. 
Please don't be one of these guys. All right. Not the sort of weapon I need a wide fan. I don't think whites run around with the range weapons very often. No, they usually have like axes and stuff. I'd be kind of surprised if an axe just came out with a, I don't know, longbow or something. A short blow. It's usually the Santos have those. Would I eat short bow? Short bow, like a basic one, would be worthwhile, but maybe an oak bow would be. How much damage are we doing? Uh, 16 damage, one attack delay. Hmm. Oh, the good old Heavenly Iguana. Heavenly Iguana is always a great option on archers. But I don't think I've got the Vampiric Child title yet, so. Maybe at some stage I'll do a Vampire of Heavenly Iguana. Let's take a look at this old bow anyway. So it's uh, 23 damage, one attack delay, compared with my 16 damage. Plus electrocution with 0 0.9 attack delay. Um, I have to take on my orb of light, but I guess that's fine. I give it a try. I'm just not convinced this is better. It's definitely more physical damage. But pretty much nothing's resisting the electricity anyway. Okay, uh, can I jinx bite this dude? There we go, that was probably a worthwhile thing to do. Oh, okay, I did find... I'll do one of these potions, invisibility. I can actually use that one now, because I just took off the... Um... Whole orb of light that would have stopped me going invisible before. Oh, the spell I'm dead. I'm not an acromancer, but if I was, I'd be very glad to see that one. Uh, can I get the attention of one of these dudes? I can't even see one of these dudes. I just try to like, oh, that might draw them out. I just try to like draw them out one at a time or something. Uh, I don't know if it drew them out or not. Man, did they just sleep through an entire lob trap? I just don't want to find this many yaks at once. So oh, there we go. There's some yaks. Oh. Oh, they've all like noticed me now. I see how that is. I try and bend some. Oh no, that's uh, that's a terrible idea. Let's get out of here. Oh no! Go try and move again, but this might get me killed. Okay, it did get me out of there. Wow! Right, that was uh, just absolutely stripping through my health. You know what? I might just go down a level, leave those yanks be. That was probably the right thing to do initially. Was uh, marking the area off, but I thought I'd be able to lure out a few of them. They just stuck together, unfortunately. Is something I can do about this troll? I guess I just keep it shooting at it. Um, I don't know. I haven't been seeing the armor, have I? Just double checking. Right, so I got blinking. Could be good. I got some attraction, which is pretty useless as an archer. Where are the creatures? I'm seeing empty ground or summon hydra. If I want to switch up to be the summoner. There's some gloves. I mean, I can take gloves. Do I have any charm armors? I do have an identifier that I can use on a potion of brilliance. Alright, another rook bow, but I don't really need that one either. Well, that level seemed rather empty. I might just go down another one. See what we've got. Uh, okay. Can I even use talisman like in general? I can. It's just a death one that I'm apparently too dead to use or something. Alright, so I can do I can do another potion. I got some magnification. Well that's gonna probably be useful. I can use it, right? <laughs> this uh I hope so. I think it was grayed out or anything. Good I can't. So I can't turn into a tree if I want to like uh get a bit more AC. I don't know, get some poison for this. Soft shot going berserk. All the usual stuff that you use magnification for in the early game. That's probably the Orcish Mines. Well, there's certainly uh, Orcs in here, whether it's the Orcish Mines or not. I'm gonna try, like, uh, do a little hex thing. The whatever it is, a jig spite. 
Oh, yeah, this looks fine. And there is, in fact, the Orcish Mines in there. Oh, it's funny as Marukuda thingies again. Um, uh oh, but the Water Elemental is one that was killing me. I think the Marukuda just kind of died from Bolt's Wave to the Water Elemental anyway. I should check what they do. I know last time I was like summoning in a whole bunch of like duplicates of itself. I think that is their main thing that they like swarm around you. Uh, uh huh. Right, if I can't take these out one at a time, I'm just going to have to leave them, because three electric eels is way too many for me to be dealing with. Alright, Rage Weapons to 10, which is not too bad. It's getting kind of expensive. I might just get, like, a little bit of dodge. I'll try the first six points, see if it makes a difference. Invocations, yes. Yeah, so I'll get that up to, like, six as well. I don't know, I'll get a couple of hexes, but I won't go, I'll get it like six or something. I won't get too much. Um, just try to get that inner flame back going, but I haven't really been using the inner flame. Oh, two inner ogre? Man, okay. Alright, where'd it go? Hey, troll leather, I'll take some of that. Alright, there's a bit of regen, I guess. Oh, okay, two inner ogre, do it again. Well, I can get it with the curare. I could probably jig spider it. For a little bit of extra damage, but I can't blow it up because it will do too much damage to me if I blow it up with the um, inner flame. That's not doing a lot. Let's try Jinx Bite it because it doesn't target willpower. Ooh, I'm pretty, pretty close to being dead. I gotta go get it with the Ice Blast. There we go. I could grab its uh, Dacid Dragon Scales. It's either that or... I think I might just keep with my Troll Leather Armor. Oh no. Let's go make sure I finish it off with the ice block, because that one doesn't miss. And if I would miss there with a few more attacks, I could have been in big trouble. Alright, well, I think it's, uh, is it lair time now? It's probably lair time. I gotta try and slow this guy with a little bit of bed time. There we go. That's more like it. Alright, so we got hiding in the lair here. We've got a potion, no, not a potion, a scroll of identify for a potion of heal wounds. I mean, that's nice. I always need those uh, potions of heal wounds, especially with how I've been doing with some of these creatures in here. Am I killing this guy? Good. So what's my resist? I got like a fire resist, and that's it with this character. Um, I suppose that's something. Is it worth using the Arbalus there? <sighs> Ooh, ouch! I can try my burst this guy, but I might just have to... Might drink that healing potion, actually. Ooh. This is... Questionable. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Um, I'm gonna drink a curing, but I'm hoping it does enough. This is not working at all. I mean, I got a blinking amount to use it. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Where do I even blink to? It's kind of blinking to the unexplored, which is what I hate to do, but oh well. Alright. Oh, well, there's a guy. I'm gonna start a teleport. That did not help. Let's try another teleport. Oh, I didn't get away from this guy. I might try and spend some time on it. There we go. I just shoot it, I think. Oh, I might jinx bite as well. Excellent. I can heal up in this corner, but that was uh, not a great situation. Um... Alright, let's go find an obelisk again. Hopefully I can get back to it. Oh, three identifies? Sure, I can identify. I guess I'll do my potions. Cancellation... Oh, Haste is disproved off. I've got a fear. Um, well, he said like, threw back his net. What do I do to Harold? Can I, like, polymorph into something? What if jumping spider might have Viper? Ooh, that's a lot of good options. Um, hmm. Well, I'm probably going to have to lignify to get a bit of armor class, I reckon. But at least he's at starts of the net. So that's kind of nice. You know what? Uh, I might do that lignification right now. 
I marked me, which is maybe not so good. That's the whole downside with being a tree is that I can't run away right now. I could get more ranged. I gotta get it up to like uh 14. I also get the fighting up to 14 as well. Does the dodging make much difference? It's hard to tell because I'm a tree right now. Alright. At some stage I might need to teleport, but I'll try and keep these guys around for a little while. Ooh. Oh man, I was hoping the mark would wear off, but I might just have to start the teleport now. Alright, there we go. The mark just wore off. Um How long do I get my willpower back? That's actually a little while, isn't it? I guess I just read with the jinx fight, I guess. Oh, don't forget your slouch. Yeah, that's a good point. How good is that? It's twelve percent failure. Oh, that's actually usable, isn't it? Right, yeah, I shouldn't forget about the slouch, because it's definitely usable. Uh, where is that whole, uh, marvelous I left lying around? I want to give it a try, I'm not sure if it's any better than what I've got, so I'm currently doing 25 damage, 1 attack delay. 37 damage, 1.4 attack delay, is that even better? I don't even know. Let me ask the bot to do some calculations. Oh, I think my caps lock is on. That doesn't look right. 30, what was it, 37? It's kind of hard to tell when some of these round, uh, numbers are quite rounded. Oh, 26 average damage to Xavier, so slightly more average damage, but not much. Can I just like polymorph? I don't think I can. Swamp Dragon, Cyclops, Red Bank. I mean, some of those are improvement with Aura Ikea. I'm not sure about a Swamp Dragon, because they have no poison with this. Um, could just leave her for a while. She does have the whole javelins, which is a bit of a problem, so I'm not sure if I probably still want her at range, don't I? I might just leave her, actually. I don't think that's a, like, a guaranteed fight, unfortunately. Um, Maggie's the one with fire damage, right? Which is fine, because that's the one I've actually got to resist to. Might as bring her out there's in case there's other creatures around there, so there's more acid dragon scales should I want them. Which I might have enough strength that they're like perfectly fine to use, right? Oh, what have we got here? Silence? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, hey, Prince Ribbit. I'm going to try and slow him down with a little bit of, there we go, a little bit of bend time. Alright, so we've got Flight, and what am I wearing? I'm wearing the Willpower and the this Fire, both of which are pretty useful. The Willpower is not enough, though. I still got Petrify. Yeah, it's 10%. That's about, sounds about right for its Petrify, when you've only got the single source of Willpower. But it's a lot better than the 40% or whatever it would be without the Willpower. Got some positive energy. Oh, uh, yeah. Those are all fine. Hmm, that's probably fine still. You know, watching the damage go up. Ooh, got an... I hate these, like, alligator guys, because they just drag you around. And sometimes you're just, like, stuck in the water, getting dragged in further as your health just goes down. Hey, Maimon. Can I just... Oh, I guess I'll just lignify. I think it's going to be fine. Because that gives me the poison resistance I need. Um, There we go. He's also got his plus one demon whip of venom, which admittedly is a good weapon, but I just gotta keep with the ranged. Oh, I've got some got some snakes guarding the snake pits, which is what I like to see, because I always like to do the snake pits. Because I'd love to get some resist uh poison before I go in. Oh no. 50% of the step from time, okay. Um, I got a fear scroll. Hold up. Got some willpower, though. I'm not sure about this one. Uh... Oh, apparently, uh, Tannis lost power at the moment. Oh, okay. So maybe not streaming with Tannis Fugit today? We'll see, I guess. Depends, uh, hope he gets his power back. Was well, a temporal distortion chance? Uh, it's 4%, so I could give it a try. 
I mean, it can't get any worse, right? Like, it can't get any close to me. I'll give it a try. Okay, I did put it a bit away. Um, I've got slouch. I've got what else do I have to find a Hydra? It's a stabinated Hydra. It's not ideal. Unfortunately, it's a resistance to poison, so I got to do a poison scroll. Which would be absolutely nice. Um, don't know if I should, but I'll see how much a slouch does. Oh. Not that much. Right. I see. I'm gonna start a teleporter and they're gonna cry and kill it with a slouch, but I'm not sure it's gonna work. Uh really it's not working. I don't know. Well I made that worse. I might just drop a fear. Well maybe not worse, but I definitely made it bad. Uh I might try to teleport, but it's unfortunately this level's a bit unexplored, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so much for that teleport. I mean, this is my last teleport, unfortunately. Oh. Uh oh, nine hit points? That's not gonna work. I mean, I can use a blinking scroll, but again, it's going to take me into the unknown. Um, I guess I will, because it will buy me a few turns. I just move. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh, that's not great at all. Um, I might be able to charm this one. It's only 50% though. Can I strip his willpower? No, I cannot strip his willpower. That's a shame. That would be really useful right now. Oh, come on. Don't fail me. Oh, thank goodness. The charming didn't fail me. But I can't go down because there's another Komodo dragon, which is a bit of a problem. Um... I don't tell this guy to retreat. I do heal up like reasonably fast. There we go. Got my health and magic back. But I'm kind of out of consumables now, which is a bit of a problem. Right. I guess I can deal with the. Uh, oh, I'll deal with these guys first. But I guess I can deal with the tall Komodo dragon here now. How do I get that temporal distortion going? I probably need, like... Oh, I guess I get these skills first, the uh, ranged ones. But I probably don't need too much skill. I guess I slouch these guys, which is a bit of a shame. But it does get rid of them. I guess my party's actually doing reasonably well, because I wasn't using my god abilities much earlier, so I kind of got a bit of a chance to build up. Right, I'll, um, there's a Hydra again. This time it's at some decent distance, I guess. Oh, it's not on its own either. Okay, I can slouch the other guy away. Of course, because it's so fast being a snake and all. Oh, that's that's a plot that blocks attacks, right? It's a shame. It brings the Hydra rather closer. I'm gonna try and uh, bend some time on it. So I've slowed down the Hydra. There we go. That one was just a six-headed Hydra, it wasn't it? Like a seven or eight-headed Hydra, which definitely helps as well because you're taking less damage from it. All right. Well, next level, I guess. Here, ooh, a healing potion. That's something. Have I been shafted yet in the lair? Because if I haven't, this is my last chance to be shafted. Well, last level where I can't get shafted. It would also be really bad if I did get shafted at this point. Because I still don't have any teleport scrolls. I feel like I got like a really small shaft earlier, but I could be wrong on that. Oh, got tons. I just found six curaris. Those are actually pretty good at the end. Like, they don't work on these frogs, but they do work on the Komodo dragons. I guess they don't work on the Hydras either. They do work on uh, Death Yanks, though, which I've been really lucky not to find Death Yank cards. 
Did I kill those guys? Not really, because they got plants in front of them. I had to kill the plants first before I tried to kill the Oculop plants. Also, if I did want to kill the Oculop plants, I should totally put acid resist on first, instead of just fighting them with what I've currently got. Alright, level 13. I'll probably get to level 14 by the end of Lair. So I'm on track. Um, you know what? I might go try and kill an acid Oculop plant. Crouch. <sighs> Gotta purposely target the plant, I guess. Um, I realize it'd be creatures that will do. I mean, that's fine. And there, oh, there isn't any treasure. It's just a little area where you can find your way in if you want to. Oh, well, that's... Oh, wow. Fine, I guess. Um, I might try and slouch over these sheep. Oh, they didn't die? Can I start them again, but I'm not sure about that in another time as well. Oh, good, they got rid of everything. I'm just really worried, like, if I just went try going up, I could get, uh, put to sleep and then die on the staircase. But, I mean, sitting there and slouching was not necessarily better about that. I could be put to sleep while sitting there slouching, too. I just thought the sheep would die pretty quick to the slouch, which I didn't really. Um... Oh, that's not the right menu. Ah, get us on the right menu. There we go. I love the curare dance. It's so helpful, the elephants. Okay, there's an acid dragon. That does tell me quite a lot, though. It tells me... Is that 40 health okay? Uh, hope so. Nope, it's not okay. I'm gonna drink all these healing potions. That's a shame. It does tell me that it's one of the, like, swamp dragon areas in there, so I don't think I'll be able to do that. Does that do a whisper about the plants today? Yep, got that one, dragon. I appreciate you sending that one through. No, hopefully, hopefully, um, his internet comes back, or his power was it that was missing. Hopefully that comes back, but we'll see. All right. Although, possibly, even if it does come back, you might have other things that needs to tend to instead of uh, streaming Baldur's Gate. All right, well, I've got some Trevor Stones. The problem with Trevor Stones is they can hit me and I don't have much armor class, but they're probably still pretty useful. Um, I should have some say, like, look up how the targeting actually works with the Trevor Stones, because I... Don't a hundred percent know. It just seems a little random, which I know is meant to be random, but it probably worked better if you understood exactly how it works. Alright, hoping to go alive again later if it does get back in a reasonable time. Ah uh, yeah. I really hope it does, but you never know with these sort of things like with power and stuff. And sometimes it's just a storm or whatever that takes out power. Um, I have no real reason to fight the Soul Club plant. Because well, it doesn't guard any treasure or anything. Oh, what? Apparently my exclusion zone in here was not a very smart one. But I should go in here again because I don't have the poison resist. So that would make absolutely no sense right now. Uh, there's a lot of beasts, but I should be fine. Well, maybe. I do have the fire resist, which helps with these hellhounds. Do you have a bit of regen, but I'd still love to retreat back. Okay, what do I want? I think I want to get the invocations to 10 and hope that that's enough. Not that one. I mean, fine, it's fine. And hope that's enough to get the whole um, step from time going. Oh. I killed a hydra and another one's come along. Okay, I'll try it. Uh, temporal, no, a temporal distorted where it is. Bad time, that's what I'll try. Bad time on it. I might try a temporal distortion. I don't know where it's ended up. Um, I want to pull out that hydra. I really don't want it going in there. Like, just sitting in there. But... Um, I'll try and shout. 
Come on, something. Oh, I can't pull it out. I have no idea where it went. I feel like, like it's just hiding around that corner waiting for me to go in there. Well, maybe not. Okay, it's like completely disappeared apparently. Oh, what was that? I saw a warg for a little while. Except I can't see it anymore. Oh, there's the Hydra, eight headed. Sure. That's not too bad when it's got a little bit of distance and something right up to me, heading against my six armor class for a ton of damage. I got an orc bow of electrocution. Hold up. Uh, just using a plus zero obelisk. This is going to be worthwhile over the obelisk, unfortunately. I kind of, uh, I feel like obelisks need to be just a little bit better. They used to actually be kind of good, but, um, oh, that sort of weapons, the range weapons are kind of swapped around a bit. And now the orc bows are like kind of very competitive with the obelisk, sometimes even a little bit better than the obelisk. Oh good, I can identify something. I can identify good old scroll of butterflies. It is one that the hunters start with. It's not like I did the hunters this time round, I decided oh actually it's a bit of nudge level nine to do. So I do a hexling because I've already done the um vampire hunter. Oh. Well, wherever those yaks are, I guess oh I actually I do have to deal with them after all. I was gonna say I guess I can avoid them, but that's not quite true. Um, I think I did dungeon level 11, right, except I left the electric eels, which is fine. Uh, I can just hide around this corner, get my health back before I find this electric eel. That's a good thing about the electric eels, they can't chase you out of the water, this is actually a problem, maybe. If only one of these water elements has noticed me, it's actually fine. Okay, if only one noticed, that was fine. Right, let's go down again. Uh, but I should be going to the Orcish Mines pretty much now. See what the orcs have for me. I mean, they probably. What does this character actually need? They got an okay weapon at the moment. Um, got the. What do I? I have some sort of ammo. I don't need the spirit guardian one. I mean, I'm actually missing a bit of my auxiliary armor, like my boots. Let me go check if there's some of those around. Oh, apparently not. I might be able to get some boots from the orcish mines. I guess that's an option. That's a lot of slime creatures. I'll bring one of them up. I definitely don't want to go straight back down the staircase slope because I'll probably end up with some big slime creatures merging next to me. Um, slime creatures are actually a little bit hard for champion or characters because you can't just run away back to staircases and pull back like little bits of the group. Hopefully this is all right. Yeah, so it's just end up having to fight them all at once, which was apparently completely fine. Alright, Orgrish Mines time. My party seems to have recovered from my uh, bad time at the end of the lair. Something I'm going to do to, like, Mars the Thief here. I can maybe polymorph him into... Oh, he's got a war of willpower, never mind. Maybe I'll try to polymorph him. He's also got a ring of eyes, no. No, that was, a, that was an ice beast, never mind. Not a ring of ice. I could turn him into an ice beast, which would actually be an improvement, but it doesn't quite work when he's got the robe of willpower, cloak of willpower, which is now mine. I don't, why do I have so many wizardries? Three wizardries? Man, okay. Anyway, cloak of willpower. Even plus one, which brings you up to seven armor class. That's a good here. We've got silver javelins. Unfortunately, not quite right for this character. I wonder for how many, like, people that play ranged characters decide to get throwing skill anyway, just to throw javelins. 
I mean, they'd be all right because you could throw them through a line of creatures. I'm just not sure whether it'd be worthwhile or not. Oh, these guys, I know these guys can paralyze, but it should be oh, it's down to 1%. That's what I like to see. Also, hey, Jeepikas, thanks for the raid there. Let me see if I can give you a shout out. How did your dungeon crawl go today? All right, there we go. I think it's letting me give a shout out. Excellent. What do we have here? Got a, oh, got a damnation armless. A plus five armless of flaming. Hold on, I might grab the damnation here. That's a nice little find. All right, well, it's probably just more damage, right? Let's say it does uh, 45 damage when we do it actually. Yeah, that doesn't seem too bad at all. I do a deep alpha out elemental, let's go pure ballastic castle. That sounds like a bunch of fun. How are you liking the deep elves? I quite like them, personally. But yeah, they can be a little bit fragile at times. I mean, that's kind of the only downside, right? Like, the they got the spellcasting aptitudes. I just shoot this guy. Yeah, whatever. Let's wait these summons out. Oh, who has the uh, Holy Wrath? The Oak Knight, isn't it? Okay. Oh, actually, it's dying. It's probably fine. <laughs> Never mind about the Holy Wrath, then. You know, this is just gonna straight up die. So can go back down here, I think. Oh, they're them, but they're weak, yeah. No, they're definitely, they're a ton of fun. Because you can often get your spells going quite early, and keep, that can keep you alive sometimes. Uh, what do I need? I need, like, 18 ranged. How am I going with, uh... Step from time, 16% failure. So I'll just get that up just a little bit. I'll bring this up to, like, 12 or something. That can probably get into a more reasonable chance of the step from time. I think I'm making a bunch of noise now, but this is doing so much damage when it blows things up. So it's just uh, working at this point of the game. In fact, there's a decent chance I keep this armless for the rest of the game, but it's not guaranteed. I might um, end up switching out for something else. I know with, like, uh, if you find this sort of Spriggan character, you end up keeping it until the rest of the game because Spriggans are a little bit limited to what range weapons they can use, and this one's really good. Um, well. It's an actual non summon smoke demon, right? Good. Well, kind of good. Does mean that I haven't missed the summoner, though, which could be summoning more things. This is probably going to be an abyss gate sitting around here somewhere as soon as I clear this place out. So I've got uh, all the small scrolls. I think I was really sure on the teleport. I actually need the job weapon right now. Okay, I need the butterflies and identify. Don't really need the noise, but like it's a cheap way to identify it, I guess. Yeah, 12 gold. You know what, sure, whatever. Oh, identify it by buying one. I can drop the old cloak. I can probably drop the... Noise, the amnesia, the haste. Feels wrong dropping haste, but I mean, I don't think it would be worth getting myself into penance or something by drinking a haste potion. I just hit these guys. There we go. As you go think about this damnation armless so that actually got changed somewhat recently, is that you can't hit yourself with it anymore. Because you used to be able to. Ooh. Ah, some night again with the. Holy wrath. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, it's fine again. There's a rope positive energy. I've still got the, uh... Troll of the... Oh, another... Why does every single knight have Holy Wrath? Like, I think it's, uh... Literally every single knight that's had Holy Wrath so far. I 
Oh no, this one doesn't. Okay, finally a uh, knight that doesn't have holy wrath on it. Yeah, I just had a normal great mace, thank goodness. Stuff is a regular old demon spawn. They don't seem too bad. It's just, uh, I'm used to seeing demon spawns like way later, except the regular ones without a job aren't quite as tough. A oh, spiked scale mail, I could try some of that. A ring of willpower, see if it's why I already see invisible. Oh, the an artifact death talisman on a character that can't wear one. I guess it's minus four slang, so it's actually not the best one ever. Um, there's poison resist ring here. Ring of protection. Okay, what else do I need? What are my rings? I got the fire resist, I got the willpower. I can probably put on the poison resist when I go to the snake pits. Um, so I might grab that one. I have retail looks okay. What else have we got? I might try the spiked chain mail. Scale mail, I mean. Plus four, but it's minus four decks. It doesn't give a fire resist. Hmm. So I have uh, 48 damage. If I put this on... 45 damage. Okay, 1.3 attack delay. 1.1 attack delay. No, it doesn't seem that worthwhile. I might just drop it. What do I need? Do I need all these old slings and old boils and stuff? Um. Alright, well I might have some upstairs cases, but that's not an upstairs case I, I haven't done already. I think I might be done with the orcs mine, so I can just go back to the dungeon. I don't like a full like uh Master Archer or whatever, the Centaur Archer. This character had a little shop bow, which is kinda of funny. Oh, is this electric invasion? Um My put that on right now to the willpower, but I'll probably end up solving it out with the points of resistance on stage. Although in places where like the vaults where I don't necessarily need the points of resistance, that's probably a really worthwhile ring. Hey Nezos. Goodbye, Nezos. Ooh. Probably try and get rid of the cat of Beliefers first. Right, there we go. Now I should be able to deal with Kirk. Oh, Jinx Bite is good. Oh, you looked it up on the wiki? Yeah, I was using it earlier, but I seem to not be using it so much anymore. Does it matter if I kill that human? Oh, probably not. No, it does. Uh, the problem is it strips your willpower, but it does uh, start you off doing some pretty good damage. So it's definitely good at the start of the game. Oh, 36 damage point 9 attack delay? No, I don't think that's worthwhile. Gotta keep with my damnation here. Throw that one around. But no, definitely it, does, it definitely keeps you going to start. Can Rupert even get to me? Or is he just like stuck here? Okay, Rupert, come back. Yeah, I think he's just kind of stuck. Huh, <laughs> that's funny. That's one of my easiest ever Rupert kills, because he couldn't even get to me. I mean, theoretically he could have gone round, but I don't think he was going to be smart enough to figure that one out. Alright, so I saw some plus three leather armor, but what else was there there? There were plenty of the basic armorless, but those aren't going to help me out. Yeah, I don't think it was actually much. Uh, oh, Zom is talking to me! Worship me, mortals! Zom booms! And I shall grant you the greatest gift of all. What is the greatest gift? Randomness. Are you going to zap Rupert? That's not a bad plan. Yeah, I certainly did zap Rupert there. I didn't realize the zap command let you, like, target, uh... Like, Rupert and stuff. Oh. He draw grand. Like, I know you can zap people in chat. Uh... Do I have a potion of willpower? I guess I just... Zap him? Okay. Oh. I'm probably gonna go up very soon, Pat, maybe right now. Everything's kinda coming along from every direction. Oh, hey, Roxanne. I could find Roxanne if I wanted a statue form, but I don't think I particularly do want a statue form. Oh, plus for slaying. Um, slaying doesn't help as much with the obelisk because they already hit fairly hard, but unfortunately they hit fairly slow. 
and you want to fast wipe and if you're gonna slag, well do slag. You kind of get more uses out of your slaying. Alright, that's probably just more of the oak bows, which I've seen so many oak bows at this point. One more level of dot. Oh, wait, what's wrong with guarding? Hmm. It's a bit of risk, but I might just go check on this rig. Yeah, intelligence, whatever. Doesn't really matter, I probably don't need that one. Let's just go downstairs. But I've already got like 30 intelligence because of uh, Chabriatos giving me a bunch. Alright. I do have a core resist ring. Um, I think I might need to... Uh, hold on, can I just polymorph this guy actually? Take his color, there we go. Ooh, that didn't help that much. I might actually have to step from time to get a little bit of health back. That didn't help. Oh, man. If I had to do a teleport, but I kind of low on those ones. Oh, no, that didn't help either. Uh, fine, I'll do another step from time, but I'm just not sure it's going to help. Hey, there we go. I teleported out of there at the end, at least. Okay, what can I identify? But I got myself in kind of a lot of trouble there. What did I do to these guys? I might actually try and slouch them a couple of times. Alright, that's looking a lot better. Um... So down one pit with the piety, which means that we're getting plus 14 with my attributes. It's actually not bad, I think the max is like plus 15 anyway, so it's barely down from that. What makes sense to kill first? Man, there's a lot of stuff again. Is there a choke point anywhere? I don't know if there is. Uh, I guess I'll slouch these guys, but it's going to cost some piety. Alright, Hydra's aren't quite as big a deal as they used to be. Even if I'm missing that one quite a lot. Oops, I just put on Jinx Pie, which is fine, but it's not quite what I meant to put on. Um... And I might quiver up, I don't think worth quivering, I might actually just like unquiver my jig spite. That's not something I'm gonna uh, use by accident anymore now that... I guess I need the acrobat, but I'm not sure too much about this. No, actually, how much am I gonna run away from things? I don't think I'm gonna do much running away from things, which is the thing. So the acrobat's not that useful, but also, this is fine. I was like, not sure I'm gonna get much out of my current um, evasion, not evasion one, uh, shield value one. You know what? I might just go buy myself like an outlet of regen because I know there was one for sale. All right. I can go drop a uh, magical power. I guess I don't really need the acrobat. Don't really need the reflector right now. Yes, yeah, let's just go get full on regen. Um, I might put all the poison resistance instead of the. I gotta have at least one fire resist, don't I? Um, I mean, there's a robe of fire resist here. You know what? I might go grab the robe of fire resist, put that one on, and then I might put on the poison resist instead of the fire resist. There we go. Resists are looking pretty good. Um, that robe actually didn't look too bad. Blue, let's go to the snake pits. Is that a ring of the mage? Oh, it is too. Shame this character is not really the one to benefit from that one, but Wizardry and Archman doing the ring's pretty nice. I've had plenty of characters that love to put on that ring, well, with lots of mage characters. Alright, that's another room fire resist. Only plus two like my current one. 
fact, do you ever find over enchanted robes that are not artifacts? I'm not sure you do, because I know sometimes you just seem like random over enchanted weapons lying around. Um, I'm not heading. Ah, fine, I'll slap these guys a couple of times. They're not gonna die. Because they are really fast, so they do take a lot from the slouch. Oops, that's wrong key there. I think I think I accidentally pressed Q instead of tab or something. Anyway, so go to a ring shop. There's a finger necklace. Quite liking my regen, but that would allow me to get something else. I don't know, like a fire or something. It wouldn't be that good at the moment because I don't have the best rings stashed away. We've got cause fear. Cause fear is something I could use. What have we got? Se seismic cannonade, metabolic and glaciation, freezing cloud. Uh, I probably don't need a book of the mood which has cooling and passive Calabria. Not cooling, crystal sphere and passive Calabria. Uh, dispersal. I mean, dispersal could be useful. Another book of the mood. Spontaneous combustion for doing ignition of radiant or inner flame? Probably not. But I've already got the inner flame. Um, I'll grab this one here. Was what was it that one I wanted to get? It was something. Wait. Did I already have the spell? I just had two chemo stones in my library. Oh, I probably already had cause fear, didn't I? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, 8% failure as well. In fact, that one might be worth quivering up. And if I just get like a couple more hexes, I'll just get up to 10, because it's fairly cheap. I should probably be able to get the cause fear going. I probably even have a scroll to go with that as well. I wonder how the power of the scroll compares to the spell when you don't have that much skill in the spell. Yeah, no idea. Because scrolls seem to feel like they cast the cause fear at a reasonably high amount of power. Alright. Uh. Oh, that's the coolest novel so far. Yeah, blowing everyone up is really fun. <laughs> it used to not be uh, quite as good because it used to you used to be able to hit yourself with the explosion. So you had to be really careful when you shot it. But now you can just kind of spam it and blow everyone up. Uh, in fact, this one's actually gone through a number of different reworks because back when the ammo... Oh, this one has a plant. Back when ammo was still a thing, it always uh, blew up the ammo, uh, so you go through a lot of bolts when you used it. But I think it had a slightly better bonus to damage or something back then. I don't know, it's definitely gone through tons of uh, reworks. You gotta zap the ammo. I feel like you should banish the ammo. Oh, let me try, uh, banish some ammo here. Oh, I think it's called banish. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, ammo. Oh, I missed the H. That didn't work. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you gotta zap some food as well. Alright, let's, uh, go downstairs. I wonder whether you ever do see, like, ammo lying, ar or lying around the abyss or something. <laughs> I thought it was funny to find, like, a large orange uh, that took up a whole tile. Imagine actually trying to eat an orange that was like a whole tile's worth of size. That would be kind of, uh, crazy. No, I think the oranges... You do still find, like, the food, just the decorative food ones, but they don't take up the whole tile anymore. Uh, let's get a bit more dodging. I might get that up to 14 at the same time as getting fighting up to 16, I guess. Step from time is not quite there. You know what, I should actually be working on that step from time, getting that up to like 14 skill or something. 
Oh, the evening time. Really? Is that much to use that one? Yeah, the one foul flame and umbra. Foul flame and umbra. Shame I'm not getting to use that one yet, but I'm sure at some stage I'll get a little chance to use it. I don't need the slaying. Um, there's still time that I could probably get rid of. But I could probably drop the enchant weapon until like, I get something better in terms of weapons, which might not ever happen, because this one's really, definitely blowing people up pretty well. Although I don't think the damnation damage scales with anything, so it's definitely really good early on, and it falls off a little bit, but I think you can definitely take this to end game. In fact, one of the games where I won, I think I won like a Springer without raising a skill to a 13, might have had this uh, list. And that was, uh, it was a really tight game though, because uh, not raising skills is pretty brutal. Well, not uh, above 13 or something. But I think I was like an Okumaru character, so I was trying a 13 skill, but I could bring it up to 18 in a hurry if I needed it. Because 18 skills have been delayed on an arm list, I do believe. Ooh. I'm gonna get surrounded, aren't they? Or not? <laughs> Ooh, I might actually slouch this guy. Oh no, he didn't kill it. I'm drawing the heal wounds potion. That doesn't do that much. I was thinking of maybe stepping for time, but I think I might do a slouch. No, I might step for time. Do get rid of that uh, taste at least, right? Oh good, it's uh, gone somewhere. Okay. I guess slouching is not going to work very well in Naga. I don't know if it takes into account the, like, temporary haste or not, but Naga's a kind of slow to start with, so unfortunately it doesn't do as much damage. I'm, like, trying to snouch one of those snakes or something. This is not the ending vault, because I'm already on the third level of the snake pits, but it's got the right kind of walls to be the rune vault. It's just not. It's kind of funny how you get the invitation ones like a level earlier, because that's often where you see to see the invitation ones. This is okay, but it might not be cause fear on these guys. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess it worked. Temporarily got rid of some of them. Okay, level 17. Um, I think I get a little bit more health, which is something I'm needing. 140 health is, like, not terrible. It's just, uh, fairly average health, I think, on a vampire. In fact, vampires are kind of average in a lot of ways. Um, I guess I slouch these guys. Can I hit this guy with, like, a quick throw or something? I don't think so, but I can't hit him with a light. Alright, it's randomly walking around blinded. Uh, there it is. Okay, Vile Floods. I got a Vile, I got a Tremor Stones. Vile Floods definitely good, because I can, uh, well, I'll probably be finding a lot of uniques that I need to silence up by the time I get to the, um... Where's the most uniques? I mean, uh, oh, something like Vaults. Oh, here's a unique. Not what I need to silence up. Let's just, uh, be Shujin. Um... I think I'm gonna go up. Let's just try to get rid of those snakes so I can go up nicely. Man, do we have any snakes and zards around it here? Alright, this one looks fine. Oh. Please don't bash me. Oh, she has holy wrath. Come on. Aim instead of banishment. Can I get that down any further? I cannot. Well, maybe I can. Put on a willpower ring, but I'm not liking her. 
Um, damnation. What else can I do to her? Uh, can I get out with the light? She's not even close enough. All right, she's wandering around. There we go. Go on, rid of her. All right. In fact, madness would be the worst thing I think this character could say. Think about the whole holy wrath thing. No, it's madness sort of gets you the science as well, so you can't teleport out or use your god powers to escape or anything as well. Alright, this base you Jen. I'll just try and shoot her. I do have the resist a latch rig, so you got some resistance to what she's doing to me, I think. She's got plus three storm dragon skills and she's got a dragon blood talisman of time monsters. That's such a funny name, time monsters. So it gets, uh, it's good to see if it's working because it's just negative. I mean, I can't actually shoot with that on, so I don't think it's worthwhile. Oh, hey, Donald. It's got a kite shield of reflection. That's not what I want to say. Um, hmm. I got a slouch shield, but it's not going to be that effective. Okay. Kind of try shoot him, but he might just reflect it back. Oh, he's severely wounded. Wait, he can reflect this one back, right? I don't know quite what happens when he reflects back a bolt from a damnation bolt. Whether it still blows up or not, because I know that, um... Actually, I might just go up there. I know that, like, the dimensional bullseye wasn't working with this, uh... This one. Okay. Go somewhere where I'm not slowed. So many shields, but unfortunately it doesn't work. This is a two-handed weapon. But if I did give up this weapon for anything, it would probably be some kind of hand cannon that I could, um... Yeah, to, f like, free up a shield for me, because that would be kind of nice. I'm gonna shield. Uh, I might slouch these guys. There we go. So, I think I've had Mark's Vampire. I think I was just going for like Mary Vampire or something this time around. Uh, vampire is VP, right? I don't know. I guess I'll find out pretty soon. But if it's not gonna be Vampire, it's like, oh, I have Vampiric Aeon and Vampiric Sluggish. Vampire. How have I had so many Chamber Angels vampires? That's crazy. And Sensei, Scribe, Mark's Vampire, Hoplite, Card Shop, Acrobat, oh yeah. No, because I haven't played that many Chamber Angels characters, but apparently uh, two of the ones I got the title were with were vampires. I don't think vampires have got like any special synergy with Chamber Angels as well. I don't know, I guess it's just lack of which alters I got. Because this was a faded alter character. Some of those other ones probably were as well. Uh, Chainmail of the Hills. It gets minus fire resist. He has minus strength. Uh, my strength is decent at the moment, but with the minus fire strength, I might be struggling with strength to wear a suit of Chainmail. Okay, I want to retreat, but like, I can't quite yet. Oh, minus poison resist. It's fine, but I gotta, gotta retreat now. Hey, there we go. Got my first rune. Where do I want to go? So my choices of places to go are the vaults or the swamp. Mm, I've got about the right resist for either, actually. I might not the vaults. I'll try the swamp first, but the vaults is not looking terrible. What? Oh, right. I excluded up some guys out the front, I think. There's this plot to the way. All right, so let's go down, see what's guarding the entrance here. Nothing yet. Uh, why am I just slouch these guys? It's going to be kind of surrounded.
All right. I mean, this is okay, but yeah, definitely when the creatures hear me doing the damn nature, they all come swarming around to try and surround me. I'm hoping I don't get another Nade Hydra, although I do have a few Talipods now. I'm back up to five of those. This is sort of recovering on the old Talipod side of things. Alright, let's uh, head on downstairs. I don't fly. Do I want to fly? I do want the poison resist. Um, the evasion resist electric is fine. I should probably just keep with the resist I've got, I think. Alright, what can I identify? I've got two scrolls of acquirement. Alright, what is the offering? Manual of invocation of the cold resist willpower evasion decks? Oh man, I mean, the invocation is nice, but I think I take this ring. Cold resist willpower evasion decks. I mean, it's a nice sort of group of stuff. I could probably drop one of it, cold protection or something. Um, I'll probably use willpower. All right, can I actually put this on though? I hope so. I don't want to lose the points of this, but um, that's like got like a robe of resist points or something. I've got a ring of resist points and potion of lightification that doesn't help that much. Don't really need the resist electric in here, so I suppose I lose that one. Yeah, I can put on the, um, or is this the electric one instead of the poison resist when I end up going to the vaults? It's not going to be a big deal. Having no poison resist in there. I like the swamp birds staring the swamp dragons. Not that I've seen many of those. Wait, can I identify something else? Did I have a second requirement? I should probably go look at that one. So I can I shot something? My cloak, I guess. It's offering me a hat of resist electric minus willpower and slaying. Or slaying and draining, which I don't really care about. Or soft code rage, which I don't really care about. Um, what's on my head? Plus zero how much? I mean... I guess I grabbed the hat of the enchanted forest. Do I put it on? Sure. I guess so, um, it's another option in the vault, so it does have minus willpower, which means I'll probably, I don't know, I might have to end up swapping this one off in the vault, so just swapping on my own electric ring, but in here it's alright, it does get the extra dang, which is kind of nice. Right, this is where the poison for this pays off, though. When I'm sitting in these clouds, that would otherwise confuse me. Uh, I guess the Hydra gets up really quick. What skills am I even trading? Did I forget? I didn't forget the limits. I'm trading dodging, which seems right. Because my evasion is up to 35, which is actually doing reasonably well. Because as a, um, Chambery Angels Worcester, I've got like 41 decks. So trading up the evasion, definitely worth it. Do I still have no boots? Did I actually get those? I still have no boots. Oh, I've got more barding than I have boots? That's kind of funny. Yeah, barding is usually rarer, but apparently not today. I don't think stopping me taking this teleport trap, but it probably doesn't lead anywhere. No, it doesn't. There's a uh, one trap off in the corner on its own. Oh, if that didn't work, I guess I'll just slouch these guys. Ah, uh, mmm. How do I look at this? Now I'm gonna try and like temper and stash these guys. There we go. Now I can go up and get my health back. Right. How much that guy's gonna even go down? I mean, this one leads back down to here. All right, there we go. Cop. One of the Alamed Gnome is upstairs on his own. I feel like it's really... Oh, I guess it's a different spot. I think it's the same old creatures. Don't really care um, which staircase I'm on. They'll just head back and forth between the two staircases.
All right, well, here's a little Hydra that's going to cross over at the Swamp Bandit here. All well, the Hydras and Swamp Dragons are dodging through pretty well. I can actually just get more dodging because that's, like, way cheaper than trying to get some range or something. You know, I probably should. I might bring it up to, like, 20 or something. I might also bring the Fighting up to 18. Um, and the Evocation's up to probably 15. It's probably good, let's see. Yeah, because I'm 2% failed at this step from time. Which is actually not bad how it is, but, like, getting a little bit better is still a good idea, I think. There was a ghost grab somewhere. I don't know where it's hiding today. All right. Okay. Plenty of hydras. Just step back a little bit. Okay, I'm marked. Um, that's a ghost grab, though, so I can... Not, don't blow up the stuff. Blow up the ghost grab. Let's head back to the staircase, because, yep, there's still plenty of stuff left on this level. I don't think I'm making it back to the staircase. If I don't think I'm gonna, oh, I did make it back to the staircase, but I think that's everything finished off by now anyway. Yeah, if you don't think I was gonna have to stand from time to get away from those guys. Excellent, there we go. Got my second rune. I guess it's just time to. Oh, I guess I'll put back on the base account, but it's a little bit of a shame. But anyway, put back on this ring instead of poison resist. Got corridors, I've got resist electric, I've got three willpower, that's not too bad for the vaults. Yeah, man, that's probably one of the better characters of in terms of resist for a while. It's played over, put me on, it gets resist electric and resist corrosion. It's only plus zero though, and it's played armor. What's the chance of marking? It's four percent, okay, so I'm on the high side of, um... Having three willpower as well. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I just went up to four any second now. Like any level up, I guess it would be. Level 18 doesn't feel massively high for a character that's done uh, two of my rune branches already. But I was actually doing reasonably well with the XP. Um, I'll step back here. I know it takes two turns, but it does line those guys up. So they're not both shooting me at once. Uh, don't have a lot to protect me from missiles, which might be a bit of a problem. Although, I might just slouch these guys. Okay. That's better. Uh. Okay, I think everything is working out there. Why is it going for the summon creeps? I really feel like the Tigers should uh, have a preference on non summoned enemies. Oh, the Robe of Willpower makes you see slightly less distance. I lose a fire resist. Um, seeing less distance isn't the most useful. Willpower kind of would be. It gives me a little bit of armor. I don't know. I think my willpower is kind of good anyway. Yeah, like these guys are only 4% of marking me anyway. Whoa. Can I try to slouch some of these guys a couple of times? Maybe a third time. That's a bit better. Um, is that okay? I think so. Good. They are blowing up. I get to blow up a lot at once, which is definitely nice. Right. Don't really need the possible. We'll see if I end up needing it. Because uh, otherwise, there's areas you can get treasure. Got resistance and enlightenment. 
I mean, I'm actually not too much lead, lead of the enlightenment because my willpower, but it's still nice to have. It's something that I would have used earlier if I had it earlier. All right, next level the vault. So oh, that's a lot of stuff. Ah, I don't know if I could like get the attention of some of the stuff and bring up some of the stuff, but God's all waked up when I hit one of them with damnation. But I guess that's fine. Oh, hey, Norris, he's got distortion. Man, what's up with all these uniques with their nasty weapons? Uh, and I'm just gonna slouch of the stuff a little bit, see if that works. I don't really want it next to me, I'm gonna try temporal distortion, alright. Now what? Um... Now I'm kind of surrounded. I might actually just start teleporting. I reckon that will do the trick. Okay. Yeah, there we go. They killed that guy that I got teleported into. Oh, what did I just do? Cause fear, I think. That wasn't quite right. But I don't even know if it affects any of these guys. I think they've probably got too much willpower. Those dial elephants definitely have a lot of willpower. What's up, what do you about? Holy wrath, alright. I mean, it's fine if it's just all one of these little guys. There we go. Oh. I'm gonna try and slouch this guy, but I don't really like being uh, stuck in here. Oh, it's not dying. Oh, there we go. Oh, I always thought that guy recalling. I've got a one of light. Maybe that'll do the trick. Uh, still recalling. Hey, there we go. Finally stopped him recalling. Uh, oh, hey, guys. Oh, why can't you take damage from damnation? It's uh, got changed. So now you don't take damage from your own um, damnation arbalist. It was so a little while back, but it's a somewhat recent change, which is definitely nice. Makes the weapon really nice, because you can have it as your only weapon instead of having to switch when things get close. Which I think was the whole idea to like uh, make it so you don't have to constantly switch weapons. But yeah, usually you take damage from your own damnation blast. I think this is still fine. Everything's kind of grouping up, which is nice. That's also nice. So the novice slime creature is up to 88 damage. I mean, it's actually fairly wounded. Might... Oh, Titanic, come on. Might have to, like, uh, stamp from time or something. Or we'll stamp from time. It's always damage which is a shame, but, like, yeah, I just have to. Oh, I merged up. I might be able to just do it with a temper and distortion. Come on. Eventually, I should be able to stop these merging up too big. I think this is, yeah, this is going to work. Finally. Although, unfortunately, I'm losing piety as I go through here because I've just uh, I to use my god powers way too much. I think if I had done that initial temporal distortion and had said I had done like another step from, oh uh, no, had done the initial step from time to done another temporal distortion, I would have been better with my piety. But it probably would have actually been more effective at taking out the um, slime creature as well, because I yeah, kind of gave it a little bit of a chance to heal up, unfortunately, when I stepped from time. Oh, and we got a uh, permafrost eruption, scalp simulacrum. All right. Oh, nothing to identify. Did I look at this requirement? Gloves of Dex or a cold of strength ring or the invocations? I mean, I think I have looked at that before, because uh, gloves of Dex actually look kind of nice. I won't go for the invocations this time either. It's the second time I've been offered invocations on the scroll of requirement. Alright, where's my way down? 
I probably won't be trading on too much more invocations, right? Because I'm not going for an invocations title, because remarkably I've actually had all oh, the sniff on the trap. Remarkably, I've kind of had those ones with champion and those vampires before. I'm just gonna go up. No point in sticking around with that guy's recalling and I can't just go up. Right, level 20. I'm going up levels fast in here, which is nice, because I went in here like slightly under leveled and then I've kind of caught up my levels. Level 20 is not bad. Oh, the book of the hunter, that's the one with the dimensional bolt time, right? Uh Grand Grimoire Summoning. I've seen so many summoning books. Dispersal with that one, although I think I might have a cheaper one dispersal dispersal, we'll see. Alright. Actually, I've already got Dimensional Bullseye, so I don't actually need that book on second thoughts. It's already 30% failure as well, like, that's probably completely castable. All spatial translocations, I think Party Tricks had, like, amputation or something, um, which I don't appear to have in my book already. Oh, that guy's got holy wrath. So much holy wrath. I think there's usually like this much holy wrath. You just don't really notice it when you're not playing a vampire character. It's Simith's ghost. A Coglin monk of the Shining One. What are they actually using? There's no way they were actually using an armed the Coglin, right? Unless that's been fixed up. Oh, that hatch. That's just a regular old hat. No, it's a hat of pondering. Okay. Would I had a pondering would be good? I mean, it's willpower, right? I think it kind of would actually be good. It's just, um... Oh, scuff resistance. Interesting. I've currently got the cloak of willpower. Hmm. Uh-huh. That currently goes well too bad, right? I don't know. I feel like I might better go back to them and try and, uh... Take that hat of pondering and just run around with that one for a little while. Uh, it's probably going to cost me a teleport, but I'll do this. Yeah, they're not doing very well dodging the damnation, of course. Because even if I miss, I like, hit the guy behind them. Alright, well that actually worked uh, remarkably well, so I can just go grab the hat of pondering. Um, oh, it's got what's not that one? I just got a basic helmet on right now, so I think this is just better. Do I need the magic points? I mean, unless I guess it's more stem from times if I happen to need more of them. Oh, the kite chain fire this I partially can't really use that. Plus five chain mail for this corrosion. Uh, it probably slows my attack, but let me go check it. And it might make it hard to dodge, let's see. Oh, yeah, no, it's not like over the defenses. I might actually just drop it. Because I lose so much evasion. I was losing like 12 evasion or something ridiculous. But this character does have quite a bit of the dodging skill, which um, I suppose if I want the armor, I can get some armor skill as well. Right, well, unfortunately, I can't really use the Ring of the Mage, even though it looks pretty nice. Also, I can probably identify that potion. Mm, I gotta get ranged up just a little bit because I'm after the range title, so at some stage I'm gonna have to get that all the way to level 27. Oh, come on, I gotta take out the guys. Oh, I failed to take out the guys recalling. I gotta try and shovel these around a little bit. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I wish for the temple of the Sarshan. I think that kind of made things worse, but oh well, I've got things in a good spot now, at least. Oh yeah, identifying potions, that's right. I have a po oh, Berserk Rage. Potion of Berserk Rage, let's drop that one on the ground.
Uh, yeah, it's just an identify scroll. Do I actually have anything left? Got an Ambrosia or an experience? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not too bad if I never find the Ambrosia. Oh, it's an old knight with a Tolly Wrath. Sure. That's all right. This one or the other one? The other one. These guys are in theory repelling the missiles, but it doesn't seem to be mattering too much. I guess there's always something in there for me to have with the damnation to have it explode, even if I don't have the guy at the front. I was all like flashing the screen there with like all the damnation, all the guys merging and every time they merge it's like flash the screen. It's kind of nice having some sort of warning with those guys merging because it can definitely get very nasty. Hey, what's the strange drive going to want? I might be able to offer what it wants. We'll see. If it wants an enchanted weapon, I might be able to do it. It wants an abyssal rune to function. Um, hmm. If I get the abyssal rune, it's going to be reasonably late into this game, but... I don't know. I could get an abyssal rune as my third rune. I don't think the abyss is worth, like, the most XP, but it could just not be worthwhile. Alright, well, I've got, uh, I think, the Elven Halls to do next. I actually, maybe should think about swapping some of this. Am I okay if I lose a willpower? Yes, as it turns out. Well, this Hand of Pondering is actually not too bad. I'm not sure if I want to put back on the other one. I don't like slang and everything, but... Alright, what else do I have that I can put on? Um... Well, it's actually not too bad. I could put on the scarf for resistance. Do I need that? Just more fire cold resist. Not really the resist I'm needing the most. I mean, a little bit more fire resist is fine. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a try. I mean, I lose the armor class, which is the main problem. Ooh, at least I teleport on the first level of the open hole, elven holes, so I don't have to worry about getting put into the hole of blades or something. Okay, what have we got? Cancellation's good. Uh, mutation's good. Resistance is good. And, well, I don't need the haste, unfortunately. Do I just have, like, a scroll of fog or something? It's gonna, like, fog up so this guy here doesn't... Oh, it's probably shapeshifter anyway. I probably could've shapeshifted it. But just so that guy doesn't get me with its, uh, poison. Yeah, it was 100% a shapeshifter. I could've just hit it with a polymorph, because I think I'm still carrying those ones. Right, level 1 of the Elven Halls was no problem. So what's the strategy? Be some elves. Yeah, level two goes. Oh, how do I get this shop? I had to get there from the third level of the Elven Halls, I guess. I'll totally remember to come back for that shop. So this character doesn't currently have a reason to the Hall of Blades. Um, but I'm not currently in need of any enchant weapon scrolls. Uh, I got apportation from a party tricks book. I should go grab that one. I think it's like 1% failure or something, it's not too bad. It's also, I mean, I might as well grab the passport as well, add that to my spells. I've always find the passport takes quite a long time to actually go off, like the time you spend merging with the wall, but it can be alright. Max, is this diggable? No. <laughs> it's like I can like pass wall into this so I don't have to go to the level beneath and potentially forget. No, I'll leave the Hall Blades. I mean, there's not too much stopping me from doing it. Ooh, Wave Frost. I better magic map to try and get to that one, because I'm really slow at moving. Oh, yeah, it's just up there. Oh. <laughs> Even more, guys. 
Well, my move delay 2.1. I mean, that's not too bad. I suppose. Well, it's about as bad as you can get. I think you can get a little bit slow with your move delay. Like if you start as a champion or I don't know, Niger or something. Uh, this conversion Dex is something. Could maybe swap out the evasion resist electric ring, I think. Let me give this a try. Um, I will rob that rover the night. Right, so we've got the... Child weapon I don't need right now. Amnesia. Oh, probably not the time end either. Alright, I'll do. Let's try it on. So I've got third, no, 58 evasion. 57 evasion, but I probably gained a little bit of damage. That's not too bad. I got a couple of coders, so uh, drop the drop the old hat, I guess. All right, that'll do. Let's go in here. Do I actually have no resist electric right now? Oh, maybe the other rig was worthwhile. I mean, not in here, but in the other holes in general. Because I uh, I could go back to the old hat, but I'm not sure that's really worthwhile. I quite like this pondering one because it's definitely more protective. They send me a like room seem fairly flimsy. They all just seem to blow up no problems. Is that free? It's like, no, it's flaming armless. That's actually what you would want to use in here if you didn't already have damnation. Hey, gold dragon. I don't actually need a gold dragon armor, do I? I mean, I have one. It really the early gold dragon armor, but I don't think I'm the right character for that. All right, what have we got? We've got uh, resist electric slay faith. Oh, I'm wearing the regen, but like... Five Slay is nothing to laugh at. Um, I think I might actually put on the, the Faith one instead of the Regen. I care about the Buckler of Corrosus. I think I'm done in here. Let's get out of here. But that uh, restores the Resist Electric actually, so I can keep on the uh, Ring as well. Alright, do I need a manual shot blades or Trismegasus codex with freezing cloud, dreadful rod? I don't think I need that. Alright, these are the tough elves, right? Might just do the rest of the level, they come back for the tough elves, because there will probably be some teleporting out involved. Maybe be some teleporting out involved, we'll see. All right. Well, yep. That's just the just the top elves now. Damnation is nice in here. Um, one of these has a ring of resist electric minus fire resist cold resist AC plus four. Um, uh, in plus four, it's probably the wrong way around with the resists. <laughs> Getting brought back to life, that's not the worst thing ever. Oh, I'm kind of wounded. I think I might start the teleport. Just get out of here. There we go. Now I can get my health back. Not to worry about being one shot with a crystal sphere or something. No reason to be healthy, but again, there's a guy with a crystal sphere right next to me. I think I just retreat back a bit, but that's doing pretty well. I was getting the Holy Wrath doesn't matter. It's just a little guy saw one of the, um, what are those guys called? So, guys, the dual weapon guys, it's not one of those. Oh, the flight decks ring is five decks. Um, 
Let's drop the... Where's my current flight one? Yeah, okay. I have an archery battle. I think I'm winning the archery battle. Because there's only one of the master archers. Oh, it's a dream child necklace. I've got... Um... Got a decent one here with the faith for this electric five slaying. That's definitely helping the damage. Brings up the 71. I think I keep it the way current one. Fortunately, the dream time kind of got enough, so it only brings you back on like one health, but it does stop you dying for a turn, I guess. It is a. I should know what that potion is. <laughs> Whatever it is, I can identify an Ambrosia. That's right. I, mean, I guess it could have been XP or something. Anyway, I'm done with the Elven Hall, so let's go to Depths. So maybe we should check my resist. I think they're pretty good, though. Missing the Poison Resist, which hopefully I can find a, a decent fix for that at some stage. That's 60% to hit this guy. It's not too bad. I mean, obviously, if uh, Poison Resist, I can just go with a ring, but my rings are so good. Oh, ow. There are too many rocks at me. I think that's probably what was doing the damage there. Yep, again, I'm getting hit by a few of the rocks. Uh... Alright, looks like I've cleared out the entrance, made my way into the depths. Still haven't decided that you want to do it for a third rune, because I know the Abyss opened up a train to Trove. Not usually that fun of doing the Abyss. How's my regen right now? A oh, haunt's down. Right, because I took off the amulet of regen. Um. I could uh, try and get like four runes or something, and have the Abyss is one of them. That's definitely an option. Good range is 22. Um, I mean, I just kind of get all these skills, I think. I get fighting up to, like, 24. Get dodging up to, like, 24. And I just let range do whatever it likes. Try and get the title from it, I think. Yeah, Merry Vampire or whatever that turns me into. It's probably Merry Vampire. All right, well, let's first of all, the depth's done. Let's go down again. Um, level 22. So I got 180 counts, which doesn't sound like a huge amount. All right, what's my third set case? Because unfortunately, yeah, we've got uh, two of them lead down to the same area, so I'm just going to have to go find the third one. Alright, it doesn't really matter which one of these other two I go to, as long as it's an actual staircase, not an entrance of pandemonium or something. Alright, also weapon chunk gun. It's got a dazzling broad axe, glowing large tag. None of those are ranged weapons, so I'm not gonna need them. Alright, I think I might have needed a charm charm at some stage. I definitely enchanted something previously. Oh, I've got gloves. And that's it for in terms of charging. Well, for now. Is it gonna be like Jory or something hiding in here with all this fog? Because it feels like the sort of area that Jory would hang out. It's also like this little sacrificial altar. These dead human cops and rounded human skeletons. Hey, there's Jory. Yep. He's a fellow vampire, but unfortunately not friendly to me. Like a rival, I don't know, vampire or something. Let's blow him up. Bomb. <laughs> Do I blow up as well if I die? Well, let's all not find out. I think that's just Jory, though. Yeah, there's a lot of these little spirit guys, like, race and stuff, but they're not stopping me. I 
All right. Why would this be like it? Those points were just all points were just were just negative. Well, hmm. I mean, if I don't get rid of this negative, that's probably fine. What do I do about the lack of poison resist? I don't know. Do I care about a protection ray and don't think so? I go like the dags or evasion ones, and they all seem to be doing a better job of keeping me protected anyway. Oh, blinking. Yes, please. I don't need the enchant arm right now, but if I get a shield or something, I guess. Or... Different body armor? Who knows? Well, let's go buy the emulations. Uh... I think this guy was like 60% dead. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm used to those uh, springing mages. and mages being super hard to hit with range, but for some reason recently they haven't been too bad. I know, like, the, the it was definitely because of the rework of how the, um, repel missiles worked. Oh, well, more guys for me to fight, sure. Because it used to be, like, uh, get them a certain percentage more evasion, now it's getting them a straight 15 more versus the range, I think. So for something that's already high evasion to start with, it doesn't do quite as much as it used to. All right, well, double level three. Let's go down again. See what we've got. And we make it reasonably short work of the depth so here. Oh, shrike. Do other have the erosion? I know that. Okay, let's, oh, there's more. I can't do the whole uh, slouch if I need to. Oh, I think I need to. Because that does damage on them based on how fast they move, and of course, strikes move super quick, so they take a ton of damage. Also, bypass their evasion, which is also one of their main defenses, so yeah. Shrikes do hate the whole slouch. I guess having a, a bit of bad posture pace sometimes, right? Oh. Wait, I should get myself so poisoned up. Ah. Fine, I'll put on a poison resist ring instead of, I guess, the resist corrosion dex one. Alright, which of course I should swap back on after I've dealt with the poisonous guys. I get a, like a decent number of resistance potions, I just got two of them. Which I'm not gonna need like many for the orbs of fire, I don't think, because they start with a like a two fire resist, I think. Um Could still be useful for other creatures. Definitely don't need the resist corrosion. I got that one covered with the resist corrosion dex ring. Alright, so that's Dev's done. Um, you know what, I think I might do false five, and then I might do the Abyss, and then I might, uh, with the, oh, I don't have a proper escape hatch, and then I might do my trench row, and then I'll go to Zod. I think that's the plan. Alright, so I've got, um, a teleport scroll, I might read that one and then go down. I don't think I've got any buffs, though, to put on. A little noisy, which is not ideal. Uh, I gotta slouch these guys. Actually, I'm not sure that's helping much. It hasn't taken me that far from the center, has it? You know what? I think I might just teleport again. I'll try and get myself a little bit farther from the center. Oh, thanks, Garrett. So you suggest just going full range with no armor? Yeah, usually. Yeah, because they get such big penalties from the armor. I mean, you can go and, like, sometimes get a little bit of sort of medium armor, but generally I'd recommend just light armor. Because they you can get some pretty decent evasion just with the dodging a lot of these sort of dex characters. 
That seems to be a trick in terms of defenses. And the, the like, penalties to attack delay really do matter a lot. Oh, because they are quite large. Um, yeah, this is all right. Can I repel my missiles? Why is it not repelling my missiles? Huh. I thought Tanji Reavers repel missiles. Am I wrong on that? They, they definitely used to repel missiles. Okay. Oh, of course, there's more guys in here. They all tried to them by the noise. Gonna have to keep an eye on that. See if that would have just lost its repel missiles, or whether that's just a thing now. Do I need that? Just again, it's the AC minus fire is this one. I don't think I need that. Probably don't even need those brilliances that I'm lugging around. Uh, ice, willpower, three dags, hmm. Oh, resist negative. I mean, I do need the resist negative. If that was poison resist instead of ice, it would be a little bit more useful, I think. Alright. Oh, uh, why are these all repelling missiles? There's a little ghost in here or something. Yeah, there it is at the back. Doesn't really matter. I'm blowing these guys up just fine. Oh. <sighs> Hold on, that's not gonna work, is it? Um I just saw like a ledge or something, which could be a bit of a problem. <sighs> Might actually pop a resistance. Probably fine. I actually just died. I didn't have to step from time or something. Oh, it's uh, one of these guys. One of the undying armories summoned a little weapon to go fight me. Did it actually do that much? I so far, I found the undying armories not too bad. You know, one thing I can do to uh, get poison from this is go bloodless, but like it's a. Uh, ooh, man, that was a lot of damage. It's a little bit of a questionable way. Um, hold up. Oh, I gotta drink a healing potion, don't I? Because this elf can. Probably one chop me otherwise. <sighs> I'm gonna try and slouch some of these guys. Alright. There we go, got my health back. I was a bit worried about that after that whole ominous rush that I actually managed to hit. Yeah, of course, I need to drop a couple of items. So I've got the... Probably don't need that willpower dex, but I don't need the reflection one. Um, do I really give a carry around the dream shot? I guess so. Right. Tetra cold is not something you need. What else have we got? We've got the whole plus two tower shield. The game's trying to give me those. Does the game not give me any hand cannons all this time round? It doesn't matter, because, like, I'm dead, okay. <laughs> Just wondering. It gave me the armless of damnation, so I can't exactly complain. I think I go for this one first, the Annihilator. Alright. Hey, this guy, yeah, the Tanju's not repelling missiles. So I guess I got added to the ghost guy that makes everyone around it repel missiles instead. But the ghost guy itself doesn't repel missiles, though, right? It's just uh, things around it that do, I think. Alright. But I've all seen to be all about the uh, enemies that protect each other. Like the Ironbound, are they called Ironbound Protectors or something? The ones that like take damage from other guys and that sort of thing. Oh, the uh, three enchant weapons, sure. I might 
I might just go this way, I guess, and explore to this corner. Alright, what's the hat? It's probably nothing special, just plus two hat. I still got the, um, pod ring one. Oh, there's a helmet of intelligence, which would be more protective, right? Or at least several sort of protective does. Do I need the magic points or the willpower? Uh, the willpower's okay, but it's not really needed. I could, if I wanted to, go swap into the helmet of intelligence. I don't know, but I think I'm fine with my hat of pod ring. Because it doesn't, I mean, I guess the move delay maybe matters slightly. Who knows? Anyway, I'm done with the vault, so that's my third rune, but I was going to try the abyss. Maybe. That's a dex to sure. Um. What was my armor? Robe of Fire, which I don't necessarily need. Okay. We have a ton of basic troll leather armor. I guess I just go grab some basic set of troll leather armor and wear that in the abyss. Um, I'm not a read is kind of tempting, but I don't think I'll go with this. All right. Uh, wait, why did I drop my dream child? That's all right. Might just go drop the flame, the polymorph. All right. Where's my... I get the troll leather? Apparently not. Alright, uh, where's the entrance to the abyss? I should have one, because I did do the depths. There it is. Uh, way straight down is exactly what I wanted. I need another way down as well. A bit of a noisy is not ideal in here, but it'll probably be alright. Holy Wrath, of course, because it's an angel. I think the shields might not work so well against the damnation. I feel like I just kind of... Uh, I mean, they probably block and then it blows up anyway or something. I feel like that might be the case. Because I've definitely been noticing that being a pattern that the... Oh, <laughs> oh so much for that bottle. Shields aren't doing as much. All right. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem with, like, slow walking, I guess. Staircase is, uh, definitively further away. Oh, there's a staircase. All right, please let me get to the staircase, and so let's go down. Third level. Well, third level's where I want to be. I'm just wandering around the third level. I just slow walking could make it quite a bit harder to get the room, couldn't it? <laughs> like, once it appears, um... Yeah, it's got to be hiding around here somewhere. No, nope, there's just more random walls in my way. Oh. Nope. Why were those temporary mutations? Well, they didn't matter. I found apparently it was minus it or something. They didn't stick around or anything. Oh, nope. And the wall right in my face as I was trying to get through there. It appeared like just as I moved up to it as well. Alright, where's the... Uh... Oh, the Garnu altar. I don't bad to be plan on swapping last minute the Garnu or anything. Ooh, that hurt. I gotta step from time. See if that works. Ah, oh, don't make me sick. Man, this is, uh... This is not working quite as well anymore. Oh, uh, there's a gateway leading out, okay. You know what, I'm gonna take that one. I don't know, does it make any sense to do the abyss again? I guess I'll go back to the abyss. Sure. Um, currently a little frail. Ooh, ooh, I just hate the rune. How do I get to this? Okay. Um, but I don't really have a lot of digging, that's a problem. 
Oh, and again, my way on is blocked off. Um, I'm probably on the wrong side of the rune vault. Maybe not. Might just be one of the ones we need to fly on it. That wouldn't be too bad. Ooh, I can see it. Excellent, I've got the apportation, so I can just go grab it. There we go. Now I just gotta find a way out of here. But now that I've got the rune, they should start spawning a bit more often. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Like, that would be, uh... Yeah, I actually approached the rune vault from the right side, which is crazy. But this one might not have had a wrong side. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I don't feel insulated. I think there's, like, resistant electric or something. It's not, like, terrible or nothing. I was just worried there for a second. Anyway, I'm out of the... Yeah, it's resistant electric, which is uh, not really needed, but it's fine. All right, well, let's go back to my... Do I go back to my room fire resist? I suppose so. I don't think I got any better off. I mean, this rig mail fire resist. Maybe I should try that one for a second. Oh, rope resistance? Eh, whatever. Try the rig mail fire resist, see if that um, helps. Currently got a 1.0 tag delay. Let's just try this out. Um... Uh, no, it's kind of less protected than the Robo Fire Resist. Okay, well, back to the Robo Fire Resist, I guess. I mean, I can't try trading the armor skill, but I don't think I'll worry about it. Let's just go to Zot. No, what? Not Zot. Treasure Trove. That's right. Because I got the, um, I got the rune just to get under here. Okay. Drop potions, scrolls, or whatever. Gotta remember to pick them up, though, when I get out of here, because that can always be a problem. That's a good old triple crossbow. So it does, uh, almost 100 damage. Compared with my 96 damage, actually, this one's gonna be better with the damnation, probably. I mean, I guess the other one's gonna brad, too. Oh, poison resist, willpower, minus two dex, that's not quite right. Five slaying resist, corrosion, flight. Um, minus five dex, though. Probably better than five slaying, maybe? I don't know, five slaying might do more damage. Um, but I definitely get more advantage with the five decks. All right, well, I think I've done it here. That was... That's a carrot floor. That doesn't look like the carrot floor. Oh, it is. I mean, it's a bit pointless, but I'm going to pull the potion of haste out of here. <laughs> All right, so... Spirit Guardian is not that good. Any of these things needed. There was another sort of poison resist here. Doesn't the willpower resist negative? But I'm not really sure about that one. Um, I think I need the Brad weapon. I don't really need the brilliance either. All right, let's go see how many things are gonna drop. Gonna drop one more item. I mean, that's troll of the rubber, obviously. There we go. I mean, I'm not sure I actually needed nothing for that trove, unfortunately. Um, uh, I think I'll keep with my damnation. Triple crossbow is tempting, but not really. Like, how often do you just get to blow people off damnation? Alright, well, a magic map. I've still only got, like, three digging. I didn't really find a lot this time around. Which is only really enough to dig one proper joke point. Um... And like one sort of pole that doesn't quite form a proper choke point. Oh, holy wrath, that's fine. It's just a little guy. Did I ever get dispersal or something? I think it I think I did, but I don't think it'll be castable, unfortunately, as I spaked into it. Do it be bad to spake into it with my 30 something and it's just I'm currently trying to Max out the range weapon, so I don't think I've actually got spare XP because going to the abyss really wasn't worth any XP. All right, two healing potions. I got some blinky as well, right? I got seven blinking. I still got a few teleports. So I think I'm going in here with plenty of consumables, thankfully. That's way too many shifters. Um, I gotta try and start a few of these, see if that does much. Not doing that much, but I keep on doing it. Hmm. 
It's AoE though, so the damage does definitely add up when you're slouching things. It's just not massively great at like finishing off a single guy super quick or anything. March. I think this mark will be alright. I can see some unexplored areas. I might just try and. I might try and get rid of that moth of wrath before that berserks anyone up, especially before it berserks me up, but I think this mark's fine. Hold on, did I not get myself a poison resist? Ah. Um, no, I didn't. Oh, it's both a flag. I should totally go get those. Oh, I'm not allowed to say I'm leak birds because they got like the infinite rampage on. Apparently, it's just too fast for Jamie and there. All right, but anyway, I've got some boots now, so that's a little bit more armor class. I'm probably gonna have to lose something for the poison resist. I don't really want to lose like a ton of decks. Oh man, um, I could lose five slaying right with the amulet of face and put on the finger necklace or something, but that seems questionable. Go drag another. Oh, there's a cloak. Got the scarf for resistance, but like, I can probably make use of that cloak. Oh, I just got the cloak. Excellent. Perfect time on that one, I guess. Well, almost perfect timing. I do have to find a few of the poison guys to actually get to the cloak. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da, okay. Guess I'm dropping that poison resist ring. I'll keep the other one though. I'll keep at least one. So I'm down to, unfortunately, the one fire resist now. I'll see what other fire resist things there are. But I can swap something in when I need it. Um, you know, the scarf, uh, the cloak of, not cloak, robe of resistance is actually useful now. Because I'm no longer maxed out on the cold resist. Uh. Oh, well, my armor class went up. That's something, at least. Up to 15 armor class, which is not a lot, but it's better than what never was, 10 or 9 or something before. Mm. Probably they're gonna bring their curse code back. Kind of lacking any sort of uh, defenses right now. Well, at least in the evasion department. Alright. I don't think I can draw damnation or anything for this guy anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Right. Grum. I gotta try a step from time. Just wanna get my health back before I go fight Grub and his Doomhounds. How's my willpower right now? 3% on the damnation, on the how, how I mean. That can't be too bad for whatever my willpower is. Yeah, I mean, full health Grub is not too bad. It's mainly his house that I was worried about getting me with that Doom. Even on 3%, it's still a worry. Because I can bring in, like, Tzitzit's Middles and, I don't know, mainly Tzitzit's Middles are the big worry. But I guess a Pewter and Mounds could also be a problem, right? Because I think it brings those ones in as well. I got Gels, Gravots, Vise Electric Charge. I don't know if I got Blinky with this character. Like, it's a spell. Uh, oh, yeah. Spatial Transigations, all right. Oh wait, what was the other book? Fugue of the Fall and Rhyme Blind. I guess I search for this first few letters. Anyway, Spatial Transigators is going to have blinking, right? Uh, still 9% failure, but this is going to have to do. Wait, there's no reason not to magic mouse because I'm coming close enough to the edge of the uh, end of this level that so it doesn't really cost me anything to magic map it. Oh, there was no monsters left. It wouldn't matter if I did magic map it. Hey, cow that go on the boss level. Uh, it's soup. I mean, I guess that's uh. 
<laughs> That's a greeting. I could eat some soup. I don't know if you can eat soup in this game. Has Dungeon Trolls so soup if had soup as a food? I feel like it hasn't, which is kind of strange given the name of the game. Totally should have soup as a food. Anyway, let's uh let's go magic mount this level out. Am I just still sitting on the three digging? So what's up? I uh, don't know what's up today. So usually there'd be some boulders gate today, but Tannis has got no power, so that's not gonna happen unless he gets his power back. Um yeah, we'll see what's, uh, what's up. <laughs> but it looks like it might be a dungeon crawl. See what, see if I can get any wins in that one. What about you, uh, the boss level? What have you been up to? Been doing any dungeon crawl? That's a lot of creatures, but I think it's fine. Does Death Talisman restrict any slots? No, it doesn't restrict slots. Um... Oh, that's not what I want to see. I might just slouch the Moth of Wrath. There we go. Yeah, the only thing that stops you doing is drinking the potions, which can matter, but uh, if you're a mummy anyway... Actually, mummies can't even do death talismans. They can't do any talismans in general. I don't know, I think everyone kind of uh, suffers from the lack of potions, but it's not too bad and extended. Um, is it the only form that doesn't melt slots? Because I don't like statue for melt slots. Dragon form definitely does. Storm form does. Even the um, beast form melts a bunch of slots. Let's lignify up a bit. Uh, I'm trying to think about the forms. That there's a uh, blade has definitely melts your gloves. There's a uh, flux form which melts both your body armor and your gloves, I think. I don't know, so many of the, so many of the forms these days just melt everything. Alright. Uh, what's that ring do for me? It does. Slaying strength, poison resist. Well, that was another source of poison resist. I'll definitely take that one. Six slaying is nothing to laugh at. If I want to put my scar for resistance back on, oh, the good old glaive of the guard. Never mind. I haven't got to use that one properly. I just keep on seeing it and carrying it up. Pull ups. Oh, that looks bad. I better go up before I get shifted. So there's all the fire down there. I don't think it got me on the way up though. Well, this mutations at least. Or like Kiku, so you're thinking as a death talent, but it's even worse because you already have torment resistance. Um, I mean, hmm, you could probably get away with it out of. Oh, I should definitely slouch this guy and uh, like pandemonium, but you probably still want to tomb, right? If you plan to keep on going um, into tomb. At least that's what I would do if I was going into Tomb. I know it's a bit like that with Gargoyles, like, yeah, uh, because they also have the resistance. Oh, that hit the over fire. Like, you just go through the call of, like, Hell and Pandemonium without it, and you get it online by Tomb. Do I care about this weapon of Chaos? It's also Sigiak was Ghost. A Minotaur Fighter. They do a lot of damage, like 50 damage. 130 health? I guess I just got a reasonable amount of health, but I don't quite have that much health. I do more damage than them, though. Uh, I don't think they're worth fighting. But imagine getting, like, Zod 4 and then dying. That'd be so disappointing. I know that's, like, the most rage and juice is when you get to, like, really deep in Zod and just die. It just doesn't feel very good. What god should you swap to since you can't go TSO? Um, what sort of character are you? I just like... I know, I always find Mally Tomb like a little bit of a struggle sometimes. So I'm thinking what to do. I don't think I need a Dex Ring. No. Um... I mean, I've done it with a number of gods. I've done it with like Oak of Wire, and that's okay, but not massively helpful. I've done it with... Who have I done it with, actually? 
definitely done it with Rue before, and I don't know if that was Mass for you. I mean, the Apocalypse did a little bit, but like, had to recharge, and that takes forever. Your heavy armor trident demon spawn with a bunch of HP regen. Huh. Or like Tana Turn or something. Right, because you got the power by death. I mean, that's definitely going to help. I really have no clue what uh, God is helpful in the tomb, though. I mean, just kind of everything that helps with melee. Oh, whoops. Oh, I didn't put out the fog. Oh, well, let's blow this guy up. Oh, good. I'm no longer, I'm no longer in a cloud, so now I can put out the fog. Okay. The Berserk, Moth of Wrath. Apparently not. Weirdly, that one didn't go Berserk. Um... Does, what does Kiku do that could actually help with the tomb? I mean, you get immunity to death curses, don't you, it's Kiku? Which might be something, at least. Let me go revel Revelations this level. Oh, what about Quasla? I've tried them before, I think. And I felt like, uh, was that Quasla? I think it might have, was it Quasla? Hold up. I had a character where I felt like my aim moves weren't doing the most. No, that wasn't Quasar, was it? I think Quasar's AoEs were fine. I think it was Rue that was struggling because they didn't have the... Um, their abilities didn't recharge as much. But I think, yeah, I think running out of piety can definitely be a problem with Quasar, but I think it does actually help. Um, be able to blow up everyone around you if you already had the piety. All right, do I need scrolls of noise? We'll see, uh, got a love trap. Now I'm gonna sign Claire trap, so I might just go take that one. All right. Probably actually excuse it's off so I don't accidentally trigger it. Trying to kind of stay back in my choke point here. Hey, the Orbs of Fire hate Damnation, apparently. Because they seem to resist pretty much everything, but apparently Damnation is not on that list of things that they are resistant to. Minus potions, I see. Uh... That's the worst thing ever. How many potions have I got of a uh, mutation, though? Six. Yeah, I think I might go with this. Okay, that's fine. So actually, this is my damnation. I can still hit the statue fairly well, even when there's things in front of it. Oh, uh, hold up. I need uh, pure rage and nothing but... Oh, the fighting's gonna reach its target anyway. I need, uh, like, one more point of the range skill, which is not that far off. It's probably gonna make it. Probably. Alright. I just double check if something at 24 on the fighting good. Because I want to start with a whole number, but, like, I kind of am getting very close to the end of this game. Alright, good. Fighting to this target. I need point eight more of a skill in the range to get the merry vampire. Oh, uh, that's not what I want to see. I don't know if this makes sense, but I'm gonna lignify. And I'm gonna throw in the slouch. Might have to cancel this up if it doesn't end itself soon. But you know what? I think I'll go cancel that right now. Okay. Oh, there's another orb of fire. Alright, well that's fine. I still got the same old set of mutations. How's the scale going? 
Oh, it's almost there. I mean, would I just get that on the arm run? I might just do the rest of this level. I probably attracted an arms and stuff anyway, right? With my whole damnation, so there's probably not too much left. Um... Yeah, point two of a skill, that's barely anything. Um... Am I gonna get that naturally out of the old run? I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna do like a tiny piece of crypt. I mean, it's not even gonna be that much that I need to do. I need to hit these with a thing, probably not. Like a slab or something, it looks like it's fine. A point one of a scale, all right, any second now. Hey, there we go. Range is where it needs to be. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to reach it. I think let's just go grab my orb and get out of here. I think I don't think I'm going to go for too many runes on this character. I think I'll just take my uh, what was it, four runes or something, call it a day. Got 65 evasion, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I think the evasion is kind of the main defense to keep me alive here, definitely. Alright. So with Chamber and also I get uh, less creatures, but I also move like really slow. Hey, we're at the exit. That was pretty good. I didn't even get like any... Uh, Pandemonium Lords or anything. Got Mary Vampire, which is what I want. Let's get out of here. That was a fun game, but I got Damnation, which is a really fun armor. So I'm uh, happy with that character. Got plenty of deck stuff. That's the slaying stuff. So that really helped my damage keep up. No, it's a fun game. I ended up with seven blinking because I really didn't need them as it turned out on the old run. Um, that was a quick character. Two hours, 30 minutes.